Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I'm in your house. Oh, I get out. Um, I, what did I tell you about coming here when I'm not wearing pants? You told me not to, but I ignored it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm glad you did. <laughs> it's okay. So, I'm not wearing pants either. Yep, well, <laughs> you rarely do. <laughs> <laughs> Right, man, we we we're, we haven't missed a beat. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just as a reminder, I am not fit for society. <laughs> Been a little bit. And we are far from professionals. So. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, man? It's been a while. Yeah, it has been, huh? Good, not bad. Had a r- real good day. That's that's good. Yeah. I'm still alive. <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a real good day. Yeah. I'm still fucking breathing. I'm still breathing. <laughs> I haven't died each, yet. Each day is better than the next. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for the uh, inevitable death. <laughs> Can't fucking wait. <laughs> uh, no, things are things are good. I just uh, yeah, it's weird. Like we kind of hit this stretch where I was like, I don't really have anything to talk about. Um, it was weird. Know? Like the last the last few weeks have not. Not really been a lot to talk about, and then this week, bang! Like just yeah. floodgates were fucking open. Well, well, there was there was the whole there was a, a little bit of a talk about Stanley's dick. Um, oh yeah, he's we like didn't do that. he's like showing it to people at a, a nurses and be like, hey, hello, nurse, Excelsior, yeah. and uh, that shit went away real quick. <laughs> yeah, it did. No, like nobody wants to talk no. about their grandpa throwing their dick around. No. <laughs> wow, that disappeared. That dude is ninety-five years surprised. old. Yeah, it did. It did go away really quickly. So you kind of wonder, like, what happened there? Because like there was no follow-up after like the initial like, you know, the lawyer denied it, and it's like that was it. And it was there was no yeah. other statement or anything. So I wonder if they got if they got sued or or. Or if just there was a, a like the fastest settlement yeah, of all just like, time. Can you just stop? Here's a here's a signed copy of Amazing Spider-Man number seven. All right, yeah. just fuck just it. cool it. This guy's going to the hospital in a week and a <laughs> yeah. half. Just relax. <laughs> Again, the dude's ninety five years old. Okay, you know if if he whipped yeah. his dick out, he probably just doesn't know where he is. All right, so <laughs> just you know he he was doing it at the Trader Joe's last week. Okay, it's just don't no. you're not that special. Trader Joe's. <laughs> Stanley's walking his old ass to Trader Joe's. <laughs> I love their trail mix. <laughs> I don't know what else they sell. <laughs> it's like, God damn it, Stan, you never get past the first aisle because you keep whipping your dick out right in the trail mix <laughs> section. And they kick you out right away. You know, oh, people man. respect you, but only so much, okay? That, that ends when you start whipping your dick out in front of people. I feel like I feel shitty right now because like we've railed against so many fucking dudes. Well, look, the, <laughs> whipping their dicks out, and Stanley doesn't. We're like, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're horrible people. But yeah, but yeah I mean, I'm sorry he made Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah but like that doesn't, ex- dude. You, you, the same shit was going on with Kevin Spacey, who was your favorite actor at one point, and now it's like, no, right. no, he could die in a garbage fire. Like that's okay. Yeah, but I, think, I would be less apt to make jokes if something happened. Like yeah. The fact that how quickly it just it went, went away, away it just went away. It's like it, it does seem like either collectively everyone's like giving Stanley a pass, or mm-hmm. it's just like the dude is ninety five years old. Like yeah. yeah, the same thing happened to George Bush Senior. Like he yeah. was like like a bunch of women, a few women came out against him, and then like everyone just collectively was like. Word, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and, and meanwhile, there's like more. There's like a ton of people that came out against Trump, and it was just like, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. We're all shitty. Yeah. Everyone on this planet is garbage. <laughs> yep, we don't know what we want. We don't know what we stand for. It's just day to day, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, well, there is a whole like I think there's segments of the internet that do know what they want, like a like a Zack Snyder director's cut of Justice League. Or fuck Black Panther. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, that, so let, let's let's talk, let's talk about those things real quick. So, and, and I, I want to tie it into something that we talked about via text message before. So like, the Super Bowl happened, and Philadelphia <laughs> is like still on fire, and it's like yep. you want to compare, you know, fandoms for a minute. It's like no, 
no no nerd has ever like set a city on fire in relation to like a movie's release or something happening in a comic. The closest that ever happened yeah. was some idiot set a copy of Secret Empire on fire because Captain America was a Nazi for like six months, <laughs> and and that was it. And meanwhile, it's like. You know, the the worst thing we do is make dumb petitions online to release copies of move the, the alternate cuts of movies, or we yeah. spend time making a an all male cut of the Lost Jedi. Well, no, you know what? I said we. That is completely inaccurate because I had nothing to do with that, nor do I want anything to do with that. But still, I, that is the funniest shit I've <laughs> ever heard in my life. Like you, it's that's that's. That is the most that's the most hilariously pathetic thing I've ever yeah. heard. So that that happens. So that, and uh I think somebody made an all female cut of Return of the Dead, Jedi and it's like 20 <laughs> minutes of just Leia with Ewoks. <laughs> but like even like so relax, guys. Yeah. You get your movies Don't all the worry. time. Yeah. And and with the release of Black Panther now, like it's you know Monica was watching Wonder Woman earlier today because it's it's like probably like the fifth or sixth time she's put it out because it's just like yeah I want to watch this again and rightfully so and that's something I, and I saw an article I don't remember what I want to say it was like on the it might have been on in like the New Yorker or something like that but they were pointing out how like <coughs> why Black Panther is important and it's like right. as a white guy I don't I I will not fully understand that because I've never no. Yeah. I just want to see a really super cool looking yes. movie. It's not important to me, but it might be important to my kid at one point, and it might be important to fucking half the goddamn population on this planet to see a movie with a hero that looks like them for fucking for, once outside of once. Blade or Shaft or any other fucking terribly white person directed black exploitation movies they've gotten up to this point. Well, I, I do want to point out that like Blade kind of kicked off a bit a lot of the comic book interest. Um, and yet oh, yeah, people just kind of forgot about Blade when they're like, it's the first time that an African-American hero has ever helmed a, a, a movie. And it's like, well, Blade was around yeah, like, not, like, not like 20 years ago. But yeah, and Blade is really like it. It was a yeah. hit. Like it's responsible for comic book movies being popular. Like it, it like we never would have had a fucking X-Men movie if, if Blade wasn't yeah. great. You know, and, and, so. How many? How many? How many of these fucking movies were absolute dog shit before Blade? Yeah, all of them. Remember the you remember the '87 <laughs> Punisher or the other Punisher or the other other Punisher? Right? No. The Nick Fury movie? Do you fucking give a shit? Remember the white Nick Ugh. Fury movie? <laughs> <laughs> or the which one? Which Nick Fury do you want in your movies? <laughs> Not now? my Nick Fury. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> or the um, the Generation X pilot? Um. You, we can go on because oh yeah, goodness yeah that oh existed my. um and now there's like there's yeah. like four fucking X Men TV shows uh out there so yeah but I do want to point out like Black Panther it seems like on a completely other level like Blade was one thing Blade was like the sanitary um like it was like white people could be okay with this we like we like Wesley Snipes um. Yeah, it's it, it didn't like tap into no. black culture like Black Panther really seems to be very leaning much into. So. And like the, with the with with Blade not being like, important in quotes to black people, like Black Panther is like we are fucking unapologetically black and we're here and we're in your fucking Kool Aid now and <laughs> and we're probably going to be in the top three Marvel movies that's ever going to be made. It is insane. Like, this is going to be a huge deal. And I think it's, al it, it's already broken records for pre-sales. The movie doesn't, isn't even out yet. The movie's coming yeah. out in a week, and it's already uh, the yeah. highest, the the most amount of pre-sales for any Marvel movie and the most, uh, most amount of pre-sales for any superhero movie ever. So, yeah. Yes. Good on you guys. Like Ryan Coogler's fucking dope. Yeah, man. Creed like uh, and was I'm, fucking. I'm glad ridiculous. he's gonna get like this ridiculous yes. mainstream yes. success. And it's like and and just do it and then make a whole fucking bunch of them and let that be a lesson in general that it's like you can diversity matters and you know with the success of yeah. Wonder Woman last year and with the you know what appears to be a, a success already out of the gate with Black Panther like make more of yeah. these. Do more things like this. Absolutely. And um, with what, like, with the reviews and stuff that I've I've seen coming out, like, Black Panther doesn't even like Chadwick Boseman himself doesn't seem to be the focus of these reviews. Like, they're 
black women are going to yeah. have a lot to look forward to in this movie, apparently, which is I did not expect and which is fucking cool. I love uh, the, what's her fucking name? Uh, Diana Guerra. I can't I can't pronounce her name, but Michonne from The Walking Dead. I love her. I love Lupita Nyong'o. Um, Letitia Wright looks awesome in the movie and apparently is the breakout star of the movie. That's great. So this is great. Um, but I, <laughs> there's so many shitty people trying to derail the movie be, be, for what, for what reason? Because it's got black people in it. Like, man, I, it's so got black I'm, people. I'm offended that this doesn't star another white man named Chris. Okay. Be- right. And under the guise of like, we just want to teach Marvel fanboys a lesson. Yeah. No, you don't, man. No. no, you don't. You're, this is, you're dumb and you're racist. That's it. Yeah, it's a poorly veiled yeah. racist attack. <laughs> Come on. So and and look, if yeah. you if you're gonna boycott that movie, fucking go ahead because it's not gonna matter because millions and millions of other people are gonna go and see this fucking movie because it's gonna be nuts. Fucking Lupita Nyong'o tried to get tickets and it was <laughs> sold out. She's in the goddamn and she, movie and she can't get a can't ticket to the Marvel? movie. Like, well, what's going on, Disney? You can't just figure that shit out, right? <laughs> um, I'm uh, I'm excited, so I'm gonna go see it the on Thursday beforehand. Oh wow! I am. You're gonna have to helm the review yourself because I don't. We're we are uh, we're fucking balls deep in in the first show oh. of the year for the theater, so we we got no well, time I'm, to see I'm, movies. I'm, so the next three weekends are completely spoken. I'm only for going. Us. Well, we're going early because, like, um, I so I, I at work I got a meeting with I, I took a meeting with a company called NCM that does uh they handle the advertising that's before movies. So like when you go to like uh, oh, cool. Regal or AMC theaters, there's like that that like uh, first look or something like that. Ma- yeah, Maria yeah, yeah. Menounos talking yeah, it's like for we 20 minutes. Yeah, showed you some fucking bullshit on Hulu, and it's like I don't remember that, but sure. Right. Um, but the guy like casually <laughs> drops in the meeting, like, oh yeah, we're gonna have like a special screening of the Black Panther ne- uh, in a couple weeks. So if anyone wants to attend, I'm like, yeah, right here, right here, right here. What, what do you gotta do? What, what? Yeah, right here, right here. And like, <laughs> so Dope. yeah, we're gonna go and see that um, beforehand, which will be really exciting. Are you guys hiring? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even experience or high school education. Oh, do I? Course, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, Your job's yeah, not yeah. easy, right? I, just, I really just find find time to be like, when can I just take a nap? Like, can I can I do that now here? Sure. Um, but yeah, that's what uh, that's what we're gonna do um, soon. But um, yeah, so like I'm, awesome. I'm pumped. So we'll we'll figure out when we can talk about that because but everything about this movie, like I remember when the first trailer for Black Panther came out, I was like, this just made every other Marvel movie look like corny dog shit in comparison. Like this looks cool. That's the difference. Like it looks it really, did, really, really it, fucking it cool. It really does. The only thing that I have a gripe for, I can't stand Kendrick Lamar, and I'm not happy with his him being all I, over. The I soundtrack. haven't listened to I just, it at I just all. Don't like it. That's my complaint about this movie is just Kendrick Lamar is well, in look, the they soundtrack. They can't all be Guardians of the Galaxy, okay? <laughs> this movie's gonna be yeah. fucking awesome. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be pretty fucking great. So I'm. But the soundtrack should have been mostly <laughs> Run the Jewels. Well, because Run the Jewels are are, are hip hop group that white people like, so that's why you want that. <laughs> I guess you're right. I like black artists. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am 100% of the people who listen to Ty Lip Kuali on this show. So fuck you. Um, no, I'm 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 hip. I'm with it. I listen to to Mr. Z's work. I I understand. Mr. Z's. I'm hip. I'm with it. I listen to Mr. Z. You know, he's got 99 problems. I can I can understand that. Yeah, I got one fucking problem right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hip. I'm with it. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, yeah. So, so the time that yeah, Very the time exciting. that we've last seen each other, I now clearly look and sound like Doctor Evil from Austin Powers. So. <laughs> yeah, you're not <laughs> yeah. looking good. It's been a rough few. You yeah. were two days away yeah, from I mean, Jaundice. 2018 <laughs> has been rough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, but there's been a, yeah, there's been a shitload of movie news in the past like week. Um, not like very few of it good. So, <laughs> like, where do we want to start? I don't know. I I felt a lot of it was cool like, and good. I I like, like a lot of the movie news. Like the, what? The, where do you want to start? A very very big standout that 
really has taken over most of my brain. Which, which one? Which one do <laughs> you want to start? Because I feel like a lot, a lot of the things that have popped up, like, like the Lobo thing. You want to? Do you want to start there? Um. You know what? I hate to say it, but that's probably really? a good choice. So, so the, yeah. the news is that Michael Bay is in talks to make a movie about Lobo, which is like the the, fu- yeah. the very very '90s character. I feel, um, where he's like kind of a biker outlaw from space. Mm-hmm. And do you like Lobo? I really like I, I Lobo. Could, I, yeah, hit and miss, hit or miss. Like there are times he's been good. Like I loved him sure. in the Superman animated series. I thought like that he was fantastic yeah. there. Yeah, that that you know what. Good, good call, because that's my Lobo, I think. Like, these comics, I was like, okay, that was fun, but I'm never going to go back to this <laughs> yeah. story, you know? Like, it, uh, Lobo is the Duke Nukem of comic books, I feel, you know? And he is a product of the 90s, and Michael Bay is a really good 90s movie director. I remember liking a lot of Michael Bay's work in the 90s and the early 2000s, but when he started, like, getting a hold of, like childhood properties he really just it it his direction and style and misogyny really just started to show through way too much in that time period transformers on and i mean what has he done what has he done in the past lobo might as well be michael bay with superpowers so (laughs) but i just feel like what what are are you really going to do with that kind of movie like i i my, whatever Michael Bay does with movies. I mean, I, I like, I don't see, there's no fucking pathos or sympathy or empathy with Lobo ever. I, and if I'm wrong, listeners, please let me know because I'm, I'm not searching out fucking Lobo yeah. books. I'm not. So I might be wrong, but uh, with my knowledge of Lobo, Michael, Mike, there's no pathos or sympathy or empathy in Michael Bay either. So <laughs> why not give it to has, him? Right? Has he made I guess. another movie that wasn't a Transformers movie in the past like ten years? Not, not as a director. Yeah. I don't think because I, I really I might don't be know. Wrong, but like, yeah, I mean, he produced the Ninja oh, Turtle yeah, movies, that, but that fucking dog shit. And it really felt like he directed yeah, the first. And you one. actually liked the second one. Which I still don't understand. I legit love it, but I Batman and yeah. Robin love it. It's no. a bad movie. I'm not. I'm not apologizing for anything in that movie. It's yeah. It's bad. Yeah, it is. But I love it. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Um. I fucking love. I know you're right. I can't argue with you. I'm a fucking idiot. But I'm a happy idiot when I put that how movie many, on. How many times have you watched it? I have watched <laughs> it recently. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it like two really? or three weeks ago. Yeah, in the dark, <laughs> on my phone with my headphones in, <laughs> next to Jackie, who was trying to sleep. <laughs> and I turned away from her and put my hand over the screen to try to not get caught. <laughs> like, it's such a shame. <laughs> like, why didn't I just put porn on? She's just probably like, I would have rather he been watching porn. It's like, oh, what are you doing? Are you yeah, watching that fucking no, Ninja Turtles no, movie I again? I love porn. Like, why am I hiding Ninja Turtles too? God damn it, again? I'm embarrassed. Again? That's why I'm embarrassed. More embarrassed of <laughs> that than, like, I'm not going to yeah, say. Yeah, where is that going to go? Never, Let's not come out. <laughs> I don't even want to joke about this. <laughs> Porn is not a joke to me. <laughs> Where is my wife going? <laughs> God, <damn it. laughs> um, <laughs> fucking Ninja Turtles. Um, bro, bro. <laughs> so yeah, so you would. I, I mean, I just feel like with with everything because there's other stuff that the Warner Brothers has been tossing out, but like. I really feel like Warner Brothers is fucking with us by this point. They're just like, what? I don't know. What else can we? What other kind of dumb shit can we? Get? How about we make a fucking Kite Man movie? Yeah. You want to do that? Sure. Hell yeah, Kite Man. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's if it's if the title is Kite Man colon Hell yeah, I'm in. I mean, <laughs> you better let Tom King write that entire say, script like, and direct like Kite and star. Kite Man it, ha- <laughs> is having a bit of a resurgence because of an appearance in. Um, in in the recent Batman arc, but still, like he's yeah. he's fucking kite man, like yeah, he's he's on. kite man. But it's adorable to read. Don't oh. ever put kite man in a movie. Well, they put kite man in fucking Lego Batman. Yeah, that which, was a blast. Which, which, yeah, so my, my, we watched like half of that. Which this should morning. tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> Along with Condiment King and Egghead. So 
probably <laughs> worth the Google. <laughs> Still one of the best movies that came out in 2017. Um, yeah. That, um... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I just don't that, and then there was the talk about Joaquin Phoenix being in a Joker mo- a origin movie, which is another one that like I, yeah, I, like no no one wants this. The, and the last news was like origin movie, we're going younger than Leto, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Now, like I love Joaquin Phoenix, but what do you what are you guys doing? None of you know what anyone's not doing. even a little bit. That's why right? I just feel like it's just um, I don't know. We're gonna grab this, and they just they just moved some people around over there not that long ago that um, to to make the guy what was the guy who what was what was his gig? So there was one guy who had produced or directed um, a movie. It was like more of a horror movie, I thought, and then now he's like in charge of the uh, 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 of a lot of the Warner Brothers and DC uh, stuff. He's in charge yes. of it. Oh, never mind. I was thinking no, James is, is Wan, but it, he's just yes, directing. Yeah, I thought there was someone else that like they were they're doing more shit over there, and I can't remember what it was. I can't either. We no. haven't talked in a long time, and like like the news was the shit. Yes, and I just you know if we're not talking about it when happens, it just kind of leaves my fucking brain. I thought it was some Japanese dude who was one of the heads of of was it Warner Brothers or fucking Sony? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't. Somebody got yeah, fired. Yeah, so some people got moved around. Like Jeff Johns probably got moved I around. I thought it was from Warner Brothers. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to look this up now because, like, yeah, there's. I don't. I don't know. But in any case, like, their movies still look like shit. And uh, yeah, like, if if people could just get on the same page over there, they could work towards fixing things and and not making a fucking Lobo movie when the roster of your main heroes are a fucking yeah. mess still. No one gives a fuck about a Lobo movie right now. Just start making good movies yeah, with your heroes. Yeah, that works. You, you can't make good movies with your villains either. Like, nothing... You, you can't find anything good to do with any of your characters, except for fucking Patty yeah, Jenkins. and just keep doing <laughs> that. Patty Jenkins the paint for the fucking DC Universe. Yeah. How's that? That's the best idea for you guys to have. Um, yeah, just because, again, we watched most of Wonder Woman today... Again, still fucking great. Still by far the best thing that DC Comics has done in movies. Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, Walter Walter Hamada. Oh, the shit's better than most Wal- Batman Walter movies. Walter Hamada <laughs> is now overseeing the DC film oper- um, operations. That's his deal. Okay. I don't know. Uh, he served as a decade as production executive at New Line. Um, oh, and he, he helped shepherd in such horror hits as yes. It, The Gallows, and The Conjuring. So... The that's, gallows. His, that's his deal. Okay. Um, I, yeah. Good luck. I mean, I mean, the bar is pretty low. If, if you make any, good, if if Mato makes any good decisions, someone will fucking put the kibosh yeah. on it yeah, pretty again, quick. I'm the sure. Bar is pretty fucking low. So uh, yeah, you know, not that, not that, not that hard to do. Yeah, it sucks out that we've just had the attitude is nowhere to go but up for how many fucking yeah. years and now? This for fucking for one of the two largest comic book companies um, around. And uh, yeah, meanwhile, Marvel's yeah. just celebrating 10 years of awesome movies. Um, did you see that picture thing they did of like the class photo? Yeah, and I, the video behind it too was was very sweet. And then, and I, then immediately I saw somebody like... Um, some some Black Widow comment, like sort of like Black Widow, no, no Black Widow movie still. Guys, let them fucking celebrate. Yeah, this massive it's, thing it's that they coming. built that really just had no indication it would ever become like this. Yeah, and and I'm sure it's coming. Like they haven't announced any movies past Captain Marvel, which is next year. So yeah. I'm waiting for that phase. What, what are we up to? Three. Um, yeah. Phase four yeah. is is so yeah. yeah. Let's see what they do there because like I'm you know they could do X Men, they could be Fantastic Four with all this um the buyout of Fox. Like there's some really interesting stuff yeah. that could happen here. So let's let's see what let's see what's gonna happen. And, and Feige said like and Feige said that they're ready for a Black Widow movie. They're just you know figuring out where the irons are yeah. in the fire. And if, and now if they if this X if this Fox deal really solidis- solidifies, let's get fucking Storm into Wakanda. Yeah. That'll be right? nice. Things are gonna change for the better for everyone 
white people, you need to realize you're still included in that. It's not like it's nothing's becoming all black, all women all the time. Like just just enjoy these great pieces of entertainment for what they are. Great pieces of entertainment. I'm not black. I'm not a woman. They're still fucking awesome movies. Yeah, that's it. Like figure out how to be a person. <laughs> that's the biggest problem. How do I, I don't know how to be a person? I'm like I'm 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 a fucking wet garbage bag of nonsense. I, I like <laughs> I I can still just sit down and enjoy a movie for being a movie. <laughs> Stop being racist and misogynistic. What 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 do you gain? Nothing. Um, yeah, that's the shitty thing. So, and these are the same guys who defend the Venom yes! trailer. <laughs> Let's talk about that thing. <laughs> have you seen? Have you have you legit seen anyone people defending this? I've seen a lot really? of people defending it. Yeah. What a yep. piece of shit this is. I've also seen a ton of people being like, you're a fucking moron, but they stick to their guns, man. That's that's how these people are. They they definitely uh, think they're right in, in, in believing that that was yeah. a good trailer when the, all that looked like was a fucking early 2000s it Colin like Farrell a, a thriller. Generic, <laughs> like, um, like uh, it, it looked like a it looked like what what like Fox movies usually are, where it's just like you know in a world where yeah. shit can happen. Oh, I'm fucking waking up and stuff's nuts. It's like no, all of it's just dumb. Yeah. Like th- they even they, like the rhythm of the Tom Hardy is awesome, and I l- I really like his accent. Um, but it's that the rhythm of that narration for that trailer is exactly that yeah. in a world. But it's the same fucking yeah, it's, rhythm, it, and it and it's <coughs> it fucking Fox, Venom. Like fucking late Venom 90s is movie. such a fan favorite character that to show a teaser trailer, which granted, look, the movie's not out for another eight months, and effects take time yeah. to do and 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 really like fine fine tune and everything like that. I understand. I guarantee you, they had you something to something. show, and like, they at just least didn't show like a glimpse, yeah. like a glimpse of like of the fucking face coming up or like the tongue, anything, yeah. you know. Not a couple of black lines yeah, on his neck, That you neck, can barely guys. see. That, that, like, just, a, just a glimpse and then Venom. release that shit as a picture, like a, as like a still. Because that would have that would have taken every, – everyone would have been happy. Like it would have would have forgiven the shitty trailer if you got a, a glimpse of the character. Instead, it's like yeah. cause, even cause from the, the back, like just yeah. show just show the costume yeah. like forming and show like the and the, with, with, the, with the with the spider on something. it. Like, but that's the thing: no one gives a shit about Eddie Brock. Okay, they're there for Venom. No, Eddie Brock's story is not yeah. interesting. I'm only interested in Eddie Brock because Tom yeah. Hardy is playing that's Eddie Brock. But if you you like what it's the movie is called Venom. This is a comic book movie. Why would you show a teaser? And not show your fucking protagonist at all. Because your protagonist is not Eddie Brock. It's Venom. That's what people are going to see. Venom. The title is Venom. Not, not fucking white guy. (laughs) Like, (laughs) on a motorcycle. (laughs) Fucking show Venom. We all know what he looks like. Everybody fucking loves Venom. I, like, there are so many fucking gym rats who just want to see what Venom looks like. Get that gym rat money, fucking Sony. You're idiots. The only thing I enjoyed about this trailer was the thought that, okay, they're going to fail so hard this time and just be like, fuck it, Marvel take That's them. The because, well, because <laughs> even when, when like the poster was released, when they were talking about uh, releasing the trailer, I still didn't believe it was really a movie. Because, like... Me neither, it, because it, it never no. felt real. Nobody felt like they were excited. Nobody felt like any idea no. was fully formed. Nobody gave an indication that hopefully it won't be Lethal Protector. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate Lethal Protector. <laughs> that that fucking arc was garbage. And that garbage. was the first Venom solo comic, too. Yeah, and it sucked, and and uh, that's not the thing to put. Fuck, I like I I would be fine with Agent Venom. Agent I mean, Venom was if, fucking if you're, solid. If you're going to, that would be really good. Yeah, and if you're going to completely ignore why Venom is Venom, then just go straight into fucking Agent Venom for for yeah. all I goddamn care. Because like, is it? It doesn't seem like it's tied Please. to Spider-Man at all, and Spider Anything. and like that's really no. where Venom starts is because. 
his hatred of Spider-Man. Like, so instead you're just kind of jumping in and they're like, hey, we found this gooey fucking black silly putty. Isn't this shit nuts? And no, yeah. you, you kind of lose everything. Yeah, it looks like the animated series origin without yeah. Spider-Man. With- which is, I mean, it's the whole i the, this whole idea is still bullshit. But and but your adaptation of it looks like bullshit. You couldn't even think you just stole something from a <laughs> shitty cartoon. That's all you did. It yeah. looks so bad. It looks so fucking boring. And there's no shot of fucking venom. It's rough. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and like that's all really. I think, like I said, if there was at least one, there was at least one shot in there of Venom. I think that would have like, like, all right, yeah, that was kind of like there wasn't a lot. I think, I think, I don't even think we would have been talking about the shitty storyline that was shown in the, in the trailer. If we got a, sh- if we got one if Venom shot, just looked cool. If they just showed Venom, yeah. it'd be like dope. That's Venom it. looks dope. I would have forgiven being bored for a minute and a half if you just showed yeah. Venom once for two seconds That's and he looked it. That's awesome. That's all that would have been needed. But instead, yeah, we got whatever the fuck that was and Tom Hardy on a motorcycle and shit. Yeah. So, great. Yeah. I don't want to take anything away from Venom when it's written very well and very, like, interesting and cool and makes him a real character. But I grew up on Venom. And that's not what Venom was. He was he was just yeah. a monster for for a, at least a fucking decade. Even when he was an anti-hero, there was never any fucking real character no. development in that. If you just show a movie that with a Venom that looks cool with an actor I like, I'm honestly I'm probably sold. Yeah, that's enough. But you can't show me that, and I guarantee they have some kind of working effect that's finished and you like even if it's not perfect i know you're gonna fuck we all know you're going to make the effects look better by the end of the move by by release day so just show it just fucking show it it's venom for fuck's sakes that's the only the only reason anyone wants to see that movie is because venom looks cool show something that looks cool not a symbiote in a fucking canister that yeah, just writhing no around. One, no Who gives one. A fuck about that show with this big fucking hulking monster. Yeah, I, I love how how Bad we ideas. were really angry about this via text message this week. Because <laughs> it was like, yeah. what is happening? Why is this? Why is I, this a thing? It, I, I don't understand with all these awesome properties and all these awesome characters that only Marvel can figure out how to make them cool and interesting and or and, and trailers interesting that guess what that fucking thanos that that new super bowl spot they they changed thanos's yeah. look a little bit and it looks better like you could have just done that yeah sony he doesn't, but he doesn't look something. as much like uh, homer simpson anymore right we get it we know we live in a time where you dick around with the effects until they look perfect and just show something that's like not finished. Just show yeah. show something. I know you have it. Do it, Sony. You know, your emails have already been hacked once. Don't make it happen again. I wish I was a hacker. <laughs> I wish I was somewhat smart. I, you know what I couldn't do? Th- I couldn't even figure out how to put together a cardboard tree for a show. I couldn't figure out the first step of directions to put a, to, well, together well, a cardboard could, tree. So I, I want to be a hacker. I'm never going to be able I can to do understand anything. That, <laughs> I, I had to put together like the boxes, like the loot crate boxes that that we that we get, and it's like I don't know what the fuck this is. It's like we're going to build a directions no, don't, they don't make sense. Uh, it's like we're going to build this they thing. Don't. It's gonna it's gonna be this. It's like it never looks like that. It never comes together the way it's supposed to. And then I'm like, well, yeah. at one point, there was one there was one of the unboxing videos we did that I just gave up. I'm like, I started this. I couldn't oh, yeah. figure it out. All right? Fuck this box. <laughs> <laughs> it just did not work. Um, yeah. I just don't have I, I don't have the time or patience for a, a, a little booklet of directions to make me feel like a fucking moron. <laughs> um, all right. So what? there's a bunch of other trailers though, that popped up. Uh, but t- let's go back to more Marvel stuff. Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's hey, looks that fun. looks fun. I, I right? forgot that was coming out this yeah. year. I thought that was coming out next year. I said the same thing when it dropped. I didn't even know the trailer yeah. was coming out. I didn't even hear the trailer and was coming out. I'm like, out. okay. Which seems crazy to me. We always yeah, know when we trailers do, are coming it, Yeah, it's out. like the trailer's going to come here soon. I mean, look at the, the fucking. Yeah. yeah. This just happened. I'm like, they okay, just okay dropped thank it. you. Like, I, I forgot about this movie, and, you know, it's like it's, it's like a little reminder after Infinity War, there's still more shit going on. I'm like, oh, cool. cool. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Did you get. 
Did you get a Winter Soldier feel from uh, that no. trailer? No, like with them like being on the run and like I just I it, it, and it kind of like looked like yeah. Winter Soldier to me, which I'm fine with, but like no, I I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be that, but like I didn't I didn't mind the feel and I, it looks super fun. I'm Evangeline Lilly is usually hit or miss for me, but I really liked her in Ant Man and she looks fucking cool in this. I would like the costume to be a little bit brighter. Yeah, well, I don't, well, she's not playing Janet Van Dyne, right? She's playing someone different. Yeah. Okay. Hope. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so fine. I mean, the costume is what it is, but like, and it, and it still looks cool. I just, I, I like colorful yeah. costumes. Well, well and Ant Man's costume is so. Subdued. Yeah. I would have liked something that contrasted that. But yeah, I think it it that's that looks fun. Like that's the thing. Like all right, there was a little it little does. recycling of some stuff from uh, Civil War, but like uh, all right, we're gonna go with it. Like you had some fun look. little like sight gags, like when they shrunk the building or or blew up the um the Hello Kitty Pez dispenser. But yeah, I mean that that wasn't as fun as the Thomas yeah. the Tank Engine, but uh, it, it's still funny. I got a little chuckle out of it, but I, I didn't really care. I wonder for what it, those kind of conversations but, were uh, like. Of like, hey, we want to use a Pez dispenser. And they're like, all right, go for yeah. it. Like you know, because it's it's got it and and to use a Hello Kitty one specifically, it's like so they probably have to get permission from that company. But I'm sure it's like, yeah, go ahead. It's like free right. advertising for me. They probably get money from Hello Kitty yeah, to do that kind of shit. I would imagine so. Yeah. And Pez. Right? Yeah, yeah, get all that sweet Pez money. Sweet Pez money. <laughs> Fuck, dude, they got shitloads of money. That's still yeah. around. But like, they, they, that, that candy is absolute trash. Dude, I, like, have, <laughs> I have, a, I, I have a very, very fond memories of Pez, so I can't, I can't dis Pez uh, at all. I, I, I literally own like hundreds of Pez dispensers because I collected them in high school. They're fun to collect. I have a bunch of, I have a bunch yeah. of comic book ones. And a couple of Star Wars ones, but that candy is it's just, garbage. It's just hard but it's sugar. A fun, it's yeah, a fun it's toy. just hard sugar. That's really all it is. There's nothing in it. Yeah. Uh, the hot chocolate flavor is. There's a hot is, chocolate bad, flavor now. Every, yeah, it's pretty good. It tastes exactly like hot chocolate oh, powder. I don't mix. know. I. I, I, I see like back in my day when I was collecting, it was there was like three flavors, and that was it. You had grape, lemon, and strawberry, and then like. That was it. Right. And now there's like fucking raspberry and cherry and and fucking apparently hot cocoa and I'm like, what the? F- what? Where did all this shit come from? What when I was a young <laughs> Spider Man, there was only grape and orange. <laughs> Much less black people screaming about voting rights. I'll tell you that. Don't get me stuck. <laughs> black Panther no, was not wasn't. a thing in my heel. Um, oh, and there's so many comments we're not gonna make there. I just. <laughs> like, Get out of here, old Spider-Man. You're not welcome yeah. here. Well, let me go show my dick to the nurses. God damn it. Not again. <laughs> Stanley, get out of that Spider-Man costume. Well, why did you only wear the mask and no other whip, clothes? Whip, am I right, fellas? Whip, whip. <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> you could probably wipe that off in an hour. <laughs> Oh, it's in your eye, huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, well, welcome to the Marvel Universe. <laughs> welcome to the Marvel Universe. Oh. 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 Get out. Get out, family. Get out. Go, go die alone. <laughs> I will. Wrap your pretty soon. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really it's really sad and hilarious because it's it's probably true that that poor guy's probably gonna die all alone by himself because his wife died. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna air my dick out as much as possible though. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get those cosmic rays in them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it angry. <laughs> <laughs> you would like it when it's oh, you know what? I'll be honest here. It really has no emotions or, anymore. Or rather, you know what? You probably wouldn't like it any other way. I mean, it's ninety-five years old. It's not really a great, great yeah. any, anything great to look at. It's it's more like a a shriveled prune. You wouldn't like it angry, happy, sad, in a house, <laughs> with a box, box in a box? 
but you would not like it here nor there. You would not like it anywhere. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> We're talking about a 95-year-old man's dick. What the fuck? We took a few weeks off, and this is what we've come back to? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed our, hi- our hiatus because what the fuck? <laughs> Have you missed us, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss us, folks? Everybody knows yeah, what they're really. getting into when they download this. Just a <laughs> fucking getting stupid dick jokes. Leathery <laughs> dick jokes. It's like yeah. the thing's skin, but without any of the you know hardness to it. Just all. See the Deadpool trailer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Segway. Uh, speaking of that, yeah. Um, yeah, man. Like I like I like that they're just not taking it seriously. Of like, it's it's the complete opposite of what yeah. they were trying to do with the Venom trailer. Of like, let's make this look cool. Like, no, let's make, let's make fun of all the dumb shit that's in these trailers usually. You, you know what's like what that helps into? I got no fucking not idea even what that bit. movie's about. And. And I, I, I really still yeah. want to see it bad. It looks great, and I'm having a great time with the trailers. I don't know what the fuck I, that movie is like about. To the point where I was talking to somebody today, and uh, I asked him last night, like, you see the, the Deadpool trailer? And he was like, nah. I said, it was really good. And he talked to him. I saw him today, and he was like, I saw the Deadpool trailer. I'm like, ah, oh, what would you think? He's like, ah, oh, it looks great. Who's the villain? And then I, I started to talk, and I'm like, oh. I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's like there are shots. <laughs> that movie comes out yeah. in a couple. Of I months. mean, there are shots where like he's got like a team with him. So like Domino is in there. There's there's a few other characters, and I'm like, we don't we have no idea. Shatterstar was yeah? confirmed. Like we. Yeah, Shatterstar got confirmed today, and he's like, you see his head yeah? and shoulder. Like, we have behind we have no Terry idea. Cruz. Terry Crews. Terry Crews is, is in, it. in this like, fucking movie. I have no idea. Who is he in this? I don't know. So, like, and I'm I'm really totally fine with that i'm actually really happy about it because like all right you showed me enough that like i'm going to buy a ticket but like i don't yeah. know anything about it so like i could come in come into that like movie completely like ready to go without having any idea what, what to expect and i'm sure i'll be pleasantly surprised with whatever it delivers my, my buddy who is who i was talking to today he brought up a good point do you think cable is the antagonist for most of the movie? I mean, it, it would make sense. Like, I mean, he fucking hates Deadpool, but, like, there, there's just no villain. Have you heard a casting no. for a villain? No. For this nope. movie at all? I have no idea what no. this movie is about. I'm At this point, for Deadpool, I'm more excited to see the bullshit yeah. in the trailers and the TV spots than I am to see what the movie is. And I'm like, It's crazy that I'm cool with it because I just fucking screamed for ten minutes about the Venom movie, about how I don't know what it's about and how I don't know what but the I hero looks like. I think that's also like. about setting expectations. Like, you kind of know what to expect with Deadpool, and it's like, if it's anything like the that's first true. one, yeah. sure, let's let's do that again. Um, and now you're adding yeah. in other characters like Cable, Domino, and Shatterstar, and Terry Crews, like, huh. whatever that is. Fuck yeah. I kind of hope Terry Crews' character is his Old Spice yes. character. Yes. Please let him do that. <laughs> I want I want the Old Spice guy to team up with that. It would work. Like, it would be an awesome... Yeah. If if they did that and it's just blatant product placement throughout the entire movie... Yeah, I'd be totally fine would... with it as yes. long as Terry yes. Crews. See, that'll work. <laughs> See, you could earn that shit. Terry Crews could take a dump on my chest in real life in, in the middle of me in the theater watching that movie, and I'd still clap for him. <laughs> I fucking love Terry <laughs> Crews. I <laughs> love him. I, 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 there's nothing he could do to make well, me mad at him. Um, including dumping on, um, on your chest after you've paid for a ticket. That might be a little too far. Okay, <laughs> let me... I'd let him pee on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Dump is too far. Just, why would he want to do that? Why? I am. I. I don't think. I, I don't think I like <laughs> myself. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just picturing of like. Oh shit. Like. Oh. Okay. What? This guy's got to sit in up in in seat number twelve. You know that's Terry Crews' piss seat, right? I mean, I. <laughs> I yeah, I know. I requested this seat on Van <laughs> <laughs> Like, like yeah, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> It's my debit card, assholes. I know what I'm doing. Fuck back. 
Yep, I got my got my raincoat on and everything. I'm ready to go. I ain't taking no raincoat. <laughs> I'm gonna frame that shirt. <laughs> this guy, somehow I'm like, we can't we can't go lower than Stanley's 95 year old balls. Oh, a Terry Crews peeing all over you? Okay. <laughs> We can't go lower because they're ninety-five year old balls. They're in the, this toilet water is freezing. <laughs> Low as possibly can be. Stanley's balls, limbo champion of twenty eighteen. <laughs> um so um the Star Wars solo trailer, that's another one. Uh <laughs> it's it's cool. It looks cool, right? I like. I'm, but I'm still. I don't know what it is. I'm just not excited for it. It's it's like a movie I didn't really need, but I like the vibe no. to it. Like from what little has been seen, and that's another movie it comes out in like a few months. We hadn't really seen anything yeah. about it up until this trailer that dropped. Um, but like yeah. I'm, like I didn't really need a movie or like to go over Han Solo's origin. Like I feel like he's like fine with what we know about him as is. But like, all right, like it looks cool enough. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. go and see it. I, certainly, like I'm looking. Yeah, I'll clearly see it. I'm looking forward to seeing it. But like, I kind of don't care. I cared more when they announced mm-hmm. it, and then when information started to trickle through, I, I was just like, I don't, I don't know why I'm excited about this because I want to see. I want to see different stuff. I, I like. I want to get away from yeah. the legacy characters of this. Well, that's you know? what that's what I, I think. Rogue One was so awesome because like it, it had little to nothing to yeah. do with the legacy characters. Sure, you had some badass scenes with Han Solo and stuff, but it wasn't like dependent on the Skywalkers and everything, you know. And like you could have taken out the Darth Vader scenes, and I think it w- would have been fine. It would have been fine. That was just a really great treat, and but but it unfortunately overshadowed yeah, the rest. Yeah, you of the had movie. you had all these characters and actors in there that were doing so much there, and they were carrying that movie. Yeah. And then, like, what people will remember most about that is the awesome Darth Vader scene. It's Darth Vader, yeah, raging out, yeah. Which I, I watched that the other day too. That movie is so fucking great. But like the whole time, I was like, I can't wait till Darth Vader gets back <laughs> on screen. Unfortunately. But the whole movie is fucking brilliant. I and but it, you put those legacy characters in and yeah. they overshadow everything. Oh, you know who's in Venom? No. Riz Ahmed, the guy who plays Bodhi Rook in Rogue One. Oh, the what is he? Was he the pilot? Yeah, he was. Okay. He was the defector. He seems to be the main villain and of, who's of Ven- Venom. Who's, who's Venom's villain? Carnage? Like I said, who's Venom's um, villain? Well. The well with Lethal Protector, the oh fuck, we're back on Venom. Um, <laughs> in Lethal Protector, the Life Foundation, um, it, I think they're retooling it for the movie. But the Life Foundation in that arc was a nuclear holocaust cult, and they try to take Venom, and they, they end up making five symbiotes: it's a Lash, a Riot, Phage. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Agony. No. This is all somebody. Right, yeah, else. I remember the '90s now, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Symbiote fucking rage in the nineties. You know. And I think that they're shoehorning carnage really? into this movie no. too. If, That's fucking dumb. Yeah. Yeah. But as as probably a cameo at the yeah. end is what it sounds like. But if we get five other symbiotes for Venom to fight in his first movie, that is ill advised. I I'm just you have to you know, introduce I'm, what the fuck a symbiote is. Like you have to. I don't, I don't know what they're going to. It's just, oh, spaceship. Oh, symbiote. Uh, here's Venom. That's, <laughs> see, if, oh, there's five more Venoms. <laughs> oh, here's a Venom at the end for the see, next movie. If that was the trailer, would have had a very, very different reaction to it. Sure. If you, you know what? If you just showed at least the five garbage symbiotes that he has to plow through, I would have been cool with that if you didn't show Venom. They just don't show anybody in a costume. Uh um, solo, so though, solo. Like, <laughs> but, like it looks cool. Like it has that same the same vibe that I cool. got from Rogue One is what I got with the solo trailer. That's that's kind of my problem. It looks like Rogue One. I want it to look different. I want it to look more lighthearted and fun for it because it's a it's yeah. another heist movie 
we already got a heist movie that was really very fucking dark and and kind of a bummer of a movie. I want the opposite of that. If you're going to give me another heist movie, make it look way different. Make it fucking look like Ocean's well, Eleven. Look, that, we, like, we I might, want a we might still get that, movie. though. Like, we, 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 we're, we're talking I, about this for like I a think, minute and a half that we actually saw the... Yeah. Uh, and I, I think we will. I think you're right. I think we're going to get that. But, like, it, it, it could have been... It would have helped me be more excited if you focused on the fun of the movie instead of this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a hard time explaining this because I feel like they did it right. It's a good teaser trailer, but the next trailer, I really want more fun. I want more interaction with Lando. I want to see what's up with his fucking buddy droid yeah. Lando's droid. That looks super fun. And, uh, I, I want to see what's up with these other cool characters. And I want it to look fun because it looks dark and rainy and shit. And I don't, Rogue One did that so well. I want a, I want a different looking movie. If you're going to give me a, a character that I know all I really need to know about, make it look super fucking cool and fun to me. It's a smuggler movie. It, it should look cool. Well, give it, 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 give it, look cool. like, it, give it a looks, little time. Like, let's see what they actually do. I will. Like, you're right. I like, I'm, I'm just complaining about a yeah. teaser trailer. And it was a good teaser trailer. It's just not what I wanted. It just looks like Rogue One to me, and I want it to look different. That's all. I don't have a problem with it. It looks good. I'm, I'm just not, you know, hooked. I guess, like I was immediately for the Last Jedi first yeah. trailer. You know, well, and it's weird to say that I'm not crazy excited immediately for a Star Wars movie. Yeah, well, just I feels think that, that's been the generic, the the kind of general vibe. For this, for some reason, like everyone's just kind of like, eh, about uh, the the solo movie. But like, let's see what the hell yeah, it comes it that, sounds, down to. It just sounds crazy, and it feels crazy to admit that feeling. Like, I agree. It, I'm just kind of mad about a fucking Han Solo movie. Mm-hmm. I I never thought like, I mean, he was my favorite character for fucking ever when I was a kid. Like, he was the one I latched onto. It changed, but it, it, I just feel really weird not being all in on a Han Solo movie before I even see a, a trailer for it, you know? And the, and the teaser didn't make me any more excited. Yeah. It just feels weird. Yeah. I still want to see it. No, no, I think, <laughs> look, we, we uh, yeah, so, um... And it probably will be awesome. It just doesn't feel like... Oh, I you know what? We, know awesome we forgot yet. to talk about you. You have some sort of art story <laughs> with Venom. I do. We're back to yeah, fucking. Yeah, but no, Venom. I wanted to make sure because you were like, "Let's talk about this." So let's. Yes, I want to make. Let, let's do that. Where is that? Okay, so I was. Um, I, I think I've. I, I've said it before on this show that I did just did not have friends growing up. I just did not have friends. This one dude is. I want to say his last name, but his it, Matt is his real first name. He tried to be my friend, and it took me forever to realize he was trying Aww. to be my friend. <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't realize this until way after I would never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> so he, like, he had me over to his house, and uh, he loved comic books, and and I loved comic books, and I still uh, was just, I just couldn't figure out that we were going, that we were destined to be friends. <laughs> so. He's going through all his comics and we're looking at comics and shit. He was like, Oh, I want to show you something. He used to draw all the time and he was an incredible fucking artist. And th- th- I was like, um, how old were we? Like 11 or 12. I think we were like around, yeah, we were around 11 or 12. And he pulls out this wood plaque that he carved. He carved this wooden plaque and then he, he burned etchings. Uh, into the wood and then painted it and it looked phenomenal, but it was Venom. It was a Todd McFarlane and this guy, Venom. This kid was like 11 and, it, and he did this? It was gorgeous. And he did it. He, like the, the guy, I, I don't know where he, I hope he's not dead. And I hope he's <laughs> trying to break in to something artistic because he's, yeah. he's incredible. So he showed this to me. I'm like, holy shit, this is amazing. He was like, you can have this if you want. And I'm like, word? <laughs> So I have it, and uh, 
me being a fucking idiot, I like I don't realize he's trying to like, you know, we're friends now. I don't I it doesn't click in my head. So I don't really talk to him again. We're in the same school and like the same classes, but I don't talk to him after he gives me this phenomenal gift. Do you still have it? So, oh. No, I don't. This is part of the story. <laughs> so I I am when I was 12, we moved to Saudi Arabia <laughs> like you do. <laughs> like you do. And uh, I was th- this girl that I had a massive crush on. Uh, I, I never really talked to her. Uh, I talked to her and I was I was trying to be friends with her. I was trying to like get a kiss or something before I left. <laughs> um, like two days before. Uh, no, uh, two weeks before I was leaving. I was like, hey, I got to talk to you. I, I, I want to talk to you. And uh, we talked to each other. I'm like, hey, I, I wanted to give this to you. I, I drew oh. this for you. <laughs> and she looks at it and she was like, what Ugh. is this? <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's it's Venom. He's a Spider-Man bad guy. He does this. And she's like, okay. <laughs> and she turned around and walked away. With the damn thing in oh. her hand, and I never talked to her again. She took it, not knowing what it was, after I told her I oh. made it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so, I, I, <laughs> I, I ruined the nicest thing any child that was my peer had done for me in my entire wow. life. <laughs> and she didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Just like, well, I don't know what I was thinking. I never talked to her before. I was just like, I have something to give you. I made this for you. This is so sad. Yes, that's so this is so sad. Yeah. So, Matt, yeah, if really. you're listening and not dead, I'm so sorry, man. I stole your work and I gave it to somebody who hated it. I. Oh, my God. Uh, that's. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bad move, Beach. <laughs> I deserve this trailer. <laughs> yeah, this is karma for you because you fucked up. Fuck uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I ruined yeah, it for everybody. It's all your but, fault. Oh boy, that is wow. this. <laughs> See, I'm trying to remember. I think you know what's funny. I had a piece of Venom artwork as a kid too. Like one of my like best friend growing up his older brother apparently drew and like we i didn't really it was some, one of those things like i didn't really know about and then yeah. like for my birthday one year he gave me this it was this picture of like it was supposed to be like me and his brother hanging out at like a birthday party and then there was fucking venom like jumping into the fucking birthday and it was like badass as hell like it was really cool it was done like just like a pencil drawing i don't know if he inked it or anything but like it was no color or anything but i had it was just like this like you know, it was on like printer paper or something, That's and like so I don't sweet. know what happened to it over the years, but like I I know it was it was it hung up on my on my wall for like ever, and then like it just got beat up over the years, so like it probably just like fell apart <laughs> over the years. That but, sucks. Like, that really cool. sucks so bad being a kid and not knowing yeah. how to take care of super cool stuff. Yeah, and that, that's why like I like the stuff that I picked up for for like Oliver and Parker like some of the like the prints or whatever like those are framed on their walls so it's like you you don't get to play with these like they don't get to touch like yeah you could you could you could play with the the shitty Ben 10 fold out poster that came in the DVD case but like you're not going to get like the fucking uh y- y- you know this this uh, original sketch I got from this artist here or there like yeah that that stuff right. is going to go someplace different it's ridiculous. Yeah, kids, what the fuck? Hindsight is yeah, such yeah, a bitch. Yeah, you think back at <laughs> the stuff that I'm like, man, I wonder what happened to that. Or like, this was really cool. I remember having this thing. Yeah. And um, yeah, that, that's probably a whole episode in and of itself as to the things we've lost as kids. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Because I have a billion <laughs> fucking things that, oh man, this breaks my heart. Um, all right, I mean. I got, at least I got one of my favorite toys from childhood back. Yeah. Um, I, so look, that's, that we, I feel like we just scratched the surface with some of the other stuff. Like we didn't even talk about people like vaping t- Tide Pods. Like there's so many like fucking, like I could talk about that for a little while because I'm very, um, curious about that shit. Yeah, let's do it. Cause I, like, I don't have a lot of thoughts, but like a spoiler alert for next episode, I assume I'm cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> Cool with it, man. Yeah, so... 
we got to weed out the population somehow, and if yeah. that's what it takes, if you're gonna eat laundry detergent. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe that's just Darwinism working for you. So I encourage you to do that <laughs> shit, kids. <laughs> Raging nerd it. endorses eating Tide Pods. But no, it's, I do. You know, it's funny now. Don't- don't attach yourself to this because you don't need to be sued. <laughs> you know what's funny now, though? Is, Just let me is, take the brunt of this. Every I'm time, okay with these every idiots Every time I dying. see an, a commercial for one of those, though, like now I'm like, I, every time I see one, at like the at, right after it ends, and I'm like, and also, they're fucking delicious. Like, like that's what I feel. Like, I don't, I don't blame people for thinking they look delicious because I've always thought they looked good. Like, we've been using them for like a year or so, and they look delicious. But come on, fucking laundry why, detergent. Why would you eat? Why would you eat soap? <laughs> don't eat like, it. I learned early on. It's soap. You yeah, know what I it is. Early on, that I don't want to, you know, get my my mouth washed out with soap. Like that just is not cool. It was a punishment. Yeah. Soap is a pu- soap in your mouth was a punishment at one time. <laughs> you fucking morons. Yep. You deserve yep. it. You deserve your fucking yep. poisoning. So, all right, man. I hope it goes. <laughs> Wow, we don't we need got, you. We don't fucking we need you fucking people. Dark here for uh, towards the end. You're the same fucking people bitching at Black Panther <laughs> for being black. We don't need you. We don't need you. All right, on Snapchat your fucking dicks with swastikas <laughs> on it. I might have made that up, but I assume it's probably this is the, happened. I assume it's probably it's what happened. All right, it's not that crazy, you know. Um, on that note, folks, um, if you want to get in touch with us, uh, RagingNerd on at gmail.com. <laughs> My Snapchat, Snapchat is. <laughs> Ra- <laughs> 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 um, at RagingNerd on Pod on Twitter, folks. Um, wow. All right. Uh, there's no other place to go if you just. <laughs> after swastikas on dicks there's no place else to go <laughs> That's the name of the we're, fucking up. we're done alright folks you know, you know we had a bit of hiatus we might be going on a longer one as we, as we wait for the fallout of this episode so uh, yeah that yeah. is it then folks for this episode of Rage Nerd On I have been James Ferguson I have a cameo where I hang dong in the Venom movie <laughs> See it in 3D, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> On, everybody. Oh, man. Fuck you, Stanley. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Just because you're old, it doesn't give you a pass, you piece of shit. Thanks for everything, but fuck you. Jesus, man, you couldn't die before this stuff came out. You just couldn't behave for two more years after your wife no. died? Fuck. <sighs> the Venom movie wasn't enough of a disappointment <laughs> you have to contribute? <laughs> Jesus. So... Still, I look forward to your cameo wang and dong and venom. <laughs>